Hey guys, this is Brian Mullins the Fox, and I am going to be ranting about my past experiences with Debate.org and how much of a shitstorm it really was in a matter of four months. And believe me, it was. All the way back to October 20th, 2017, when I used to be an online debater formerly known as Brian Mullins, No Christmas 2. And I did this one debate. I started it on October 20th. I was waiting for an opponent. Well, I couldn't find one opponent because, like, you know, I the first one I tried was Power Pikachu 21, but he did not really respond. And mainly it was because the website kept fucking up with the errors. And then as soon as that was fixed, I changed my opponent to M. Harmon. Then to Jim Shady. Then, once I found out this other debater named Yana Girl 136 that was debating about sports bras and leggings... I challenged her to another debate, and this is the one that caused the whole shitstorm to occur, which was called The Roast Game. Families were literally eating their own children for 19 years. And then, nonetheless, with some sort of peer pressure and some sort of explanation, I tried, but she ignored it anyway. She ironically accepted the challenge. I did my first round. And her first round was like, um, I don't know what the fuck this is. The pro or me did not explain really what the fuck it is. So that's that. Whoops. And so the next round, the final round, this was only a two round debate, was really the eye catcher. I explain more and deeply what the roast game is and to justify my position. And you know what her last round was? You know what? This was just a stupid, pointless debate and I'm not afraid to lose. Or I'm not gonna, I'm not afraid that I lose. There I said it. And then sooner or later that one day, I think it was like the 22nd or 23rd, I found out I was winning. Though ironically, at the same time, I felt like I was winning when I was watching Buena Vista logos. And I looked on my debate.org debate, and I found out I was winning by seven points and the person who voted for me was Jim Shady. And he said, as a vote reason, or reason for voting, the con basically just forfeited. She said she wasn't afraid to lose. And then the shitstorm began. From comments spewing hatred. Like, rage comments and fucking troll comments and all the way up to comments where it's saying troll just one source please troll and then there was these long lectury comments that are just almost like fucking essays to read per comment which happened to me some amount of times Oh my fucking god. It was just like nerve wracking. Concerning. It'd rather give me a reason that I don't always have to respond to them back each and every time, but I felt like I had to for some reason because they could not get off my back. And pretty much the rest of these motherfuckers I debated with were a bunch of trolls that did not get their way. Yana Girl 136 was the one, probably the only one, 
that kept commenting every fucking second I made a response to her. Every fucking second. It's like I leave the debate page, go to my dashboard page, then I see one notification. Oh, Yana Girl 136 commented on a debate. I swear to fucking God, I almost about lost all of my sanity. All my mind. My mind just like went crazy. And sometimes I even ask myself, when will this insanity end and the new peace begin? You know, it's just stressful to even rant about stuff like this. It always seems so painful to even try to at least cover most of what the fuck was going on back then in one rant. You know, I won both of those two debates. However, I got trolled in the end, and then all of this shitstorm, I got banned off debate.org because the people who run that corrupt piece of shit website did not like me, and so they banned me. Because I was being trolled so much, I had to cuss and slang so much on that website. I was just banned. But you know what? It was not my fault. It was these trolls' fault. The trolls that could not get the fuck off my back for one second. And just take whatever I've proven in their heads, in their tiny, pathetic little fucking heads on that website. And move on and get a fucking life. They cannot do it for like one fucking day. One fucking second. It's like I always had to be afraid of being doxxed or swatted in. It was scary. I had some of these fears just running through my blood and my veins. Even before I was a furry. I had fears like this. You know, it's just difficult. But now, since I'm a furry, I just wanted to make this vlog slash rant video about my past experiences before I became a furry. I'm Brian Mullins the Fox, signing off with relief and to say thank you.